What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Flex. I'm back here with yet another video, man, outside in nature. Hopefully, I can't hit a win, you guys. This will be like, you know, this is like my second to last cell phone flex video. Maybe my last, depending on if we don't make a video, you know, but it's one take flex, cell phone flex. I'm back here, and uh, we got to talk about the new center we just signed. It, it's, it's, it's David Andrews, guys. And I'm just playing. Y'all already read the title. Y'all already know it's not David Andrews, like as many suspected. It's uh Scura, Matt Scura. Okay, hopefully I'm saying his name, last name right. Okay, and um, so this is a guy who was, according to Pro Football Focus, depending on how serious y'all take that, uh, was ranked um, what third to last in the NFL as far as uh best center in the league goes. He was ranked third to last. Okay, ranked way lower than Ted. Ranked way lower than David. This is a guy who. Uh, you know, Raven fans are on Twitter right now celebrating his departure. So I don't know what that means. You can take that as you want to take it. But I'll say this: um, this uh, free agency has been terrible, uh, and I, don't, I really don't really care exactly. Like, I don't know what's going to happen during the season. I'm not saying that season's going to be bad. I'm not saying that for by a long shot. We have a long way to go. But this free agency has been awful, and uh, it can get better. It's not over. But you know. We just signed a center who literally is being said, and that's how you always really know whether if a player is worth anything is if their fans are celebrating their departure. I remember we signed Adam Butler, and I didn't know anything. I didn't know a lot about him at the time, but I seen Patriots fans. They really wanted him. They wanted to keep him. They wish they could keep him. They couldn't keep him. So that's how I kind of knew, like, okay, this guy is good because you know Patriots fans they watch more Patriots games than I do, so they would know. With this situation with this center. I mean, Raven fans, if, if you go look him up right now on Twitter, I mean, they're celebrating his, 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 him leaving, okay? And he did have a huge injury, and after the injury, he wasn't the same. He had snapping problems. I heard people say that he's a good center. He just has snapping problems. Listen, you're not a good center if you have snapping problems. That's just the facts about it. How can, like, I, I literally seen somebody say, he's a good center. He just has problems snapping the ball. Uh, excuse me? That's like saying he a good running back. He just got problems running. Huh? What, what? He's a good quarterback. He just has problems throwing the ball. Listen, that's your main job. <laughs> like, you feel me? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good edge rusher. He just has problems getting to the quarterback. What? That's a good pass rusher. He just got problems getting to the quarterback. That's a good. That's a good linebacker. Yes, he just has problems tackling. What? What? That's the main thing you need to do. So you can't be a good center if you got problems snapping. So we are gonna need these snaps to get underway. With that being said, listen. Um. I feel like we just real cheap. Even though we made a lot of moves, I feel like all our moves have been super cheap. I don't know what's going on, honestly. I just know the free agency has been boring. We have got nobody that I really wanted. But, again, sometimes we get people that I wanted and it don't work out. So, who knows? You feel me? Again, boring free agency, but boring free agency doesn't mean it's going to be a bad season. So, hopefully y'all can't hear this too much. It's not too windy out here for y'all, but... Yeah, I ain't know it was windy like this in Texas as much. But anyways, hopefully it's not too windy out here. But yeah, uh, really boring free agency, and this is just another boring move in a in a in a hell of other boring moves. Okay, that we have made this off season. Uh, you know, see, I think the most exciting thing, I, I, like when I look and I see free agency, I'm I'm looking and saying, did we get better? And I'm watching other teams in the division get better. I'm watching other teams around the league, even the Super Bowl champs, and even the. AFC champs with the Chiefs, they've, they've gotten better with the additions of Kyle Long and the additions of, um, what's the other high paying guard, or Thune or whatever. I'm watching these teams get better and I'm looking and I'm looking to see, hey, did we get better? Are we complacent? And to be honest, when I look around the roster and I'll have to wait till the completion of free agency, but as of right now, I'm not, I'm looking to say, we didn't get better. I'm not saying we got worse, but have we gotten better? You know, as far as talent wise, and depending on how you look at Kyle Van Noy, depending on how you rank him, you could say we got worse. Depending on how you rank Kyle Van Noy. But again, I wouldn't say we got worse, but I definitely wouldn't say we got better. And uh but obviously people are gonna have more experience next year, so hopefully next year is better. But yeah, we signed this center right here, and um again, he was the third worst according to Pro Football Focus. I don't see how I could be super excited about uh this pickup. I, I really can't be. But uh, I'm just hoping that he doesn't have these snap struggle, like these struggles snapping the ball. Again, that's the most important thing. I don't care if, if you if you inconsistent snapping the ball. Yeah, yes, because he did get benched this year, okay, for his trouble snapping. He got benched for an unrestricted free agent, okay. Uh, so for his trouble snapping, he did get benched. If you having struggles snapping the ball, it doesn't matter how good you think you are, bro. If you can snap the ball on a consistent basis, that should be something that we should never have to worry about. It should be an afterthought. I should not have to worry about whether or not my quarterback is going to get the ball on the snap, okay. But if you have those struggles, I don't care about anything else uh, as far as your what other skills that you have. If you can't snap the ball straight to the tour, then you got to go. You can't be on the field. It's that simple. Okay? Um, 
but yeah juju still available there's some players still available but it's looking like we're not gonna get any and people are arguing with me talking about the the cap space oh we don't have the cap space ladies and gentlemen neither did the chiefs none of these teams have cap space and do you notice how they always get who they want because all they do is just restructure contracts and then you say oh well you're gonna have it on the books for next year no because guess what they do next year guess what they do to the year after they restructure the contracts they restructure other people contracts and they do it every single year that's what people not understand the people are thinking like oh if we restructure these contracts we're gonna be in cap hell next year you know no you're not you know why because you're gonna restructure the contracts again next year that's all they do you feel me and then eventually it might catch up with you but at that point you don't already had 10 like five seasons where you was a super bowl contender but again only thing they only thing like people think oh this team is going to be in cap hell this team no they're not they're going to restructure contracts they're going to trade somebody like it's no they're not so stop using salary cap as an excuse to why we're not making moves we're not making moves because this is what we want to do which is fine i'm cool with this whole cheap dolphins if it works but i don't i don't like it in the moment of right now but i'm like i'm liking it if it works obviously you know what i'm saying as we all are but yeah I can't, uh, this is the newest center uh, that we signed, man. Y'all gonna have to get in the comments, let me know what you guys think about him, okay? Um, again, I feel as though we're being, uh, really, uh, safe, I guess, in this, uh, free agency, which I guess might work, but, again, we don't have years to really waste on a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Xavier Howard and Byron Jones not getting no younger. I don't have time for, like, people always, like, people always hit me with, oh, this is not no risk. If it, if this doesn't work out this year, like, if if, if Scorro doesn't work out this year, that's fine. It's only a one-year deal, so guess what? The next year we'll pick up another center. Or, bro, people on the team not getting no younger. We got our best, like, our best players are in their prime. We got to get to it, okay? Every year that you're sitting up here saying, oh, d this year don't really matter. Oh, 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 it's only going to be for this year. Bro, we got players in a prime right now. Our best player, Xavier Howard, is in smack dab in the middle of his prime. He just had his best season ever. You know what I'm saying? He might have one more season after that, but you know what happens when you have your best season ever? It's only down from there. I'm not saying that Xavier Howard's going down anytime soon, but I'm just saying, like, you don't, you don't, you don't be on your prime for 10 years. All right, you got a couple years in your prime, and after that, you start going down. It's facts. All right, Byron Jones in his prime. These are our best players in their primes. So we don't have time to waste, okay? People saying, uh, yeah, you don't put all your chips on the table unless you know that you're making the Super Bowl runner, that you're going for a Super Bowl. Why are we not all in? We seen what we did last year. Okay, I'm hoping we are all in, but why are we not treating it like free agency as such? People say, oh, the Cardinals are going all in, or this team's going all in. We should be going all in too, and I hope we are. Because you know why? Because we have our best players in their prime, and because we were one game out the playoffs last year, and we have and we had a rookie quarterback. So, if there's any team that should be going all in, it's us. People act like we're still that rebuilding team. People act like, oh, oh, we we still uh, in a re we're not in rebuild mode. We shouldn't be in rebuild. We was one game out the playoffs. We are win now, right? We should be all in. So, I mean, listen, if this is our, our, our idea of all in, if we're just trying to save money, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if we didn't see that that these guys are worth the value that they're going to come with, that's fine. I understand it. I'll, I'll trust them for now. But I'm just saying I don't really like it. And I think money is a poor excuse to not sign some of these people because you can always restructure the deals. That's all these teams are doing is restructuring deals every single season. And when one person got to get paid, they restructure somebody else's deal and it'd be the same thing. They get money again. That's all they, these all these teams are doing, okay? Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. We just signed the center, Matt Skura. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Road to 11 Canada Wage Book. Hey, Flexing, I'm out.